Yeah, I mean, some people call it that. We don't call it a skid or a hump. Like, any mature basketball team or mature basketball player knows that you go through ups and downs in a year. Coach Lee always says a, t or a year of basketball is like a, a lifetime. You know, you got your ups, you got your downs. It's going to happen. It's not about – it's not about – you can't just sit there and dwell on something like that. You just got to keep staying on the grind. And that's kind of what we've been doing. We've just been grinding. We've had some really tough practices, some long, gritty, aggressive practices. And then that ends up, you know – rolling over into the games. And I think we saw that tonight. Ron, how much has helped having Tristan not only back, but Tristan back here at full health? Oh, it, I mean, it's helped tremendously. Um, you know, we take a foxhole test. If you don't know what the foxhole is, I mean, it's like, you, you know, you're in the military, you, you, you're facing this way. Who do you trust the most to protect, you, to protect your foxhole? Who do you trust with your life? And, uh, you know, me personally, he's my number one. Um, I trust him, and I think everyone else would agree with me. Like, he's mine. The guy... The guy plays really hard, um, and, and he's just and he's here for the team, and he's here for, for each other. So yeah. I, I really love playing with him. Yeah, yeah, the knee the knee has been feeling great. I'm still making sure, you know, after practice and whatnot, doing my rehab and you know making sure it's ice, make sure we stay good. I had a um, guy kind of fell today and kind of bumped it and it, it twisted in a way that it hasn't in a while, but but it feels great. It feels great. Uh, Tristan, uh, you and as a team, do you think you kind of carried that momentum from the SDSU game? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we're talking about it all um, pregame. We're not going to go out here and, and lay an egg. You know, we got to go out there and protect the SCSC. Every time we have a whole game, home game, we, we don't want to lose at home ever. And it was important because, you know, some, some teams can win a big game like that. And, I mean, this happened to me before, I think, my, my sophomore year. We beat them and then went on the road the next game and, and laid an egg. So we, we made sure not to do that tonight. And, you know, I'm happy with the way we played. And I really thought we competed on the defensive end. Last time you guys played Purdue Fort Wayne, had a lead at half, blew it. How huge was that to come back and consistent throughout the whole game? Yeah, I mean that that was a point of emphasis in the locker room at halftime. You know, it's not it, we've seen that storybook before. We we went to Fort Wayne up I don't know 12, 15, and yeah, they came back and embarrassed us. So I mean, when you have someone do that to you, it you got two options. You know, you, you can you know curl up into a little ball and let someone take advantage of you. Or you can, we always say, you can nut up and, and, and take it head on. And that's what we did. We took it head on, and we focused on the first four minutes. The first four minutes of the second half are extremely important. And I think we were winning by two or three at the first four-minute mark, and that, that really helped us. You guys reflecting, you know, start of this year and last year, do you feel more of that killer instinct? Can you, can you get that sense that's something you can feel tangibly develop over the course of the season? I think so. Um, and I think a lot of that comes from the bench, too. You know, you got bench guys in there that are a little hungry, ready to play, and, and they want to get in and produce. You know, we talk about a plus-minus stat, and you got some bench guys. You know, you got Ty Chisholm plus seven. You got Hunter Goodrick plus five. That's pretty good. You know, you get in there and you're only in five, six, seven minutes at a time. Um, you want that score to go up. And I think when you have bench guys that are really gritty and ready to play, it kind of helps and, and gives the starters even some more motivation as well. Yeah, yeah, we're just locked in, honestly. I mean, we had a, about two weeks ago, we kind of had a change in the way that we were going to defend defend teams. And, you know, at first it kind of took a, a second, but I think we're finally starting to figure it out. And really the, the main thing is just don't leave your brother on an island. You know, make sure we're staying in our gaps hmm. and communicating on weak side and whatnot. So, I mean, when they shoot 35%, you know, I know Coach Lee is stoked about that. So yeah. maybe we won't practice as much defense tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Hope not. Uh, really just getting in the gaps because at first, you know, we're really trying to take away teams three point shooting ability. And I think, you know, we're, we're now accepting, you know, giving up some threes and really just making sure we're owning the paint and keeping teams out of the paint. Hey, uh, another uh, team effort with balanced scoring. Great to see uh, five guys in double figures. Our bench ended up with 12 points. I thought uh, Ty Chisholm did a good job coming in defensively. Brandon Armstrong and Hunter Goodrick. And so uh, that was great to see. We uh, defended well, and last time we played them, we defended for a half. This time we defended for the whole game and held them to 35% shooting. And so, uh, you know, Godfrey, uh, Patrick are very good players, and they've got good perimeter players. So um, it, we did a good job uh, most of the night. What, what was different? What was wrong the night you guys defended? I thought we guarded the ball. Um, Man, took away strong hand. They're strong hand drivers, uh, very quick going that way. 
They also like to shoot a lot of threes, and uh, we only gave up 15 threes attempted, and we got out on the three-point line and did a good job of making them bounce it. And so uh, besides just guarding the ball, uh, they didn't get much, and nor most teams don't, but they didn't, they didn't get much out of concept, so it was mainly about guarding the ball and the ball screen. Well, I think with the bench contributing, that helps a lot. And more depth, you know, Tristan being back, he goes six for 11 tonight. When we played him at Fort Wayne, he didn't score a point. So, um, and then the bench contributing more. I think guys are fresher um, and we're able to play, spread the minutes out a little bit. So guys should be able to defend better and, and play more possessions at a, at a higher level. And so... Um, we did a pretty good job of spreading out the minutes tonight, and that that really helps. With the bench, what have you seen that started to wobble you turn around without the Um, mm -hmm. you know, I told Brandon, uh, you know, he's been here for four years. The other day, I told him uh, um, if he's open, just shoot the ball. I want him to be aggressive, you know, and he's doing that. And uh, he's a smart player. Uh, we do need him to make some baskets, and he did that tonight. Ty Chisholm's uh, first year in the program, he's gone through some growing pains, but uh, he's starting to understand what it takes to play and uh, doing a much better job. It's always good to have Hunter Goodrick back. I think for the first time, he has looked like himself after that virus. You know, that takes a long time to get over, but he's got energy now, and so he's able to play. Um, and then Matt Johns didn't play much tonight, but uh, – you know, he's, he's getting better and better. So uh, I think the bench is improving, and we need that. How crucial was the hot start to the game? You guys had a 29 start, and then with about five minutes left, you went on a 12 2 run. Yeah, they, uh, it, I thought it was really big because they're a team that's lost a couple games in a row at home. And Purdue Fort Wayne is, is also a team that traditionally can get really hot, and they shoot a lot of threes. Uh, they're one of the leaders in the country doing that. So you don't want them to come in here and, and get get off to a good start. It's going to be uh, a tough game all night. So I think the, the, the good start was very important. Um, how crucial is it when Tristan Simpson goes for the third team? Yeah, it's, it's, it looks like a different team. You know, we've, we have uh, – we played the first seven games with him and then he was hurt for a month and it took him about two and a half, three weeks to get his legs back. And as I said, last time we played these guys, he didn't score a point. And uh, tonight he has 16 and five assists. And uh, he, uh, he makes this go because uh, he's one of the guys that can get downhill and attack the basket. He's shooting the three uh, before he got hurt. You know, he was shooting 47% from the three. So another guy that can, can spread the defense. And uh, we can just put the ball in his hands late in the game and he – takes care of it so he's obviously very important well we've we've got to do a good job when we turn when they turn it over obviously converting and then getting a shot uh, you know turn it over after they turn it over but fifth forcing 15 turnovers that's good you know they had 13 offensive rebounds which is a lot we're one of the better defensive rebounding teams in the country, but they missed a lot of shots too. There's a lot of opportunities, and they average 11 offensive rebounds on the year. So I know on Saturday uh, we're going to have to clean up the boards against uh, Oral Roberts.